Hello, my name is Connie Liu. I'm an undergraduate at MIT, and today we're going to be talking about the history of life. So first off, um, life actually didn't start once the Earth was formed. It actually started about 1.1 billion years after the world was formed. Um, so from, to from today, it has been about 3.5 billion years since life was formed. That's a really long time. If you look at a timeline, you're just a tiny speck on there compared to the, um, the timeline of the world. So the reason that scientists know that life started about 3.5 billion years ago is from fossil evidence. So of course this is not guaranteed or um, uh, confirmed information. It's still just a theory because they only have the information from fossils. There could definitely have been life even before that uh, that just didn't take a fossilized form afterwards. So you always have to take this kind of information from that far back in the timeline with a grain of salt um, and you might not be able to believe it fully. So the reason that life formed even after the Earth has been around for so long, was uh, predicted to be because that the chemical and physical processes on early Earth were uh, compatible for this to happen. And then the theory that is popular right now involves a four-step process. So the first step that happened was that organic molecules started to form on, the, on Earth. And an organic molecule is basically any one that has carbon in it. Um, some examples of that would be like amino acids or nucleotides, both very important in, uh, in our, our lives, um, or to, to just be able to form lives. For the second step after that, those organic molecules became macromolecules. And macromolecules, as opposed to um, the organic molecules that included amino acids and nucleotides, would become the polymers of those, such as proteins or nucleic acids. So you're becoming more and more complicated as time goes on. And then after these macromolecules were formed, the third step began when these macromolecules started being packaged into membranes. So what these were known as were the simplest, uh, earliest cells, um, and they weren't like the cells that we have today, which is why they gave them another name, called protobionts. And these were the earliest cells ever formed. This was all of these macromolecules packed into a membrane. Um, so this is when you started seeing actual cells being formed. And then fourth, the last step that, uh, that resulted was that self-replicating molecules came to be. So that took the form of genetic information as RNA um, that could self-replicate and then create more of itself. And because of that, uh, evolution selected these types of molecules to continue living just because they were able to sustain themselves. They could make more of themselves, which means they could uh, take or they could basically take over um, the, the environment during that time period.